Well, hello, welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. So, it's been another busy week. I did work on my brother's bus. We got his fuel tank out, did repair to the bracket support and the tank all back in, and I got the brakes working on my dad's old truck so we'll be able to plow that a lot easier this winter. So today, Tracy and I decided we're gonna take a couple hours and go for another walk. But this place will be a little treat for you. Uh, if you're not in this area, Kenny Bunk, well, it's actually, I think, in Arundel or Kenny Bunk Fort, is home to the largest trolley collection in the world. So that's where we're headed today, the Seashore Trolley Museum. We'll show you bits and clips as we go through the the uh, museum. It's a pretty neat place. Been there several times. It's close to home, so we're going to go check it out. You ready? Ready. All right. Well, it's a little bit of a drive. Not too far for us, but as you can see, we are coming up on the Seashore Trolling Museum. And they changed their exhibit out here. Right now they got this, looks like this little flatbed car kind of showing. But uh, yeah, all aboard. We are open. You get a few cars out here, I guess. So we'll pull in. It's been a been a long time since I've been here, and we're early. I mean, not early. It's a little after ten, and they open at ten, so won't be a lot of people here right off the bat, which is great. So they restore a lot of these. They fix them up as they have the money. There's a lot of volunteers that work here. I've actually had the opportunity to work on one of these. They hired me to do some pressure washing and cleaning the grease out from underneath one of them one time. So that was kind of interesting. All right, we'll get back with you once we get all checked in here and start looking around. beautiful out. You can see it's a pretty extensive place. It goes into several buildings over here and then behind me here is where we came in. Over there there's all kinds of cars and stuff down in there. You can walk around check out. Yeah we'll show you a little bit as we go. You know, this old it's a plow clearing the tracks. It's an old geezer there. So this is the Boston barn. All these cars are part from the Boston area. You can see all kinds up there. Lots more up there. Just a lot of cool cars here. Yeah, if you ever uh, if you ever come to Maine, make sure you swing down to the Seashore Trolley Museum. Like I said, I've been here several times. It's always fun to come. And, you know, they add stuff to it. They do more restoration work. And look at this double decker right here coming up in front of us on the left. Look at that. And a lot of these you can go in too. Not all of them, but some of them. The doors will be open. Hmm. Not been restored, but it's in relatively great shape considering this is one of the Boston cars. Yeah, overall, it's not in bad shape. Uh, attractions in Montreal. One of the uh, um, passengers. And uh, the car that we have here is from our Canadian collection. We have the largest Canadian collection outside of Canada with seven cars. This one is from Cornwall in Oshawa. It's a sweeper car.
thank you for coming. We're the post five o'clock, and uh, we're welcome to ride the car as many times as you wish. Awesome. Well, thank you for the information. Well, Trace and I just, uh, that was Herb. If you uh, come here, Herb's been here 40 plus years, he said, right? 45 years, wealth of knowledge. And uh, he talked about a lot of the cars that were in that barn we were just in. So, really interesting stuff. So you're just gonna switch uh, positions, right? Yeah. Okay. Keep for, for a So now we're going to take a ride on it, probably. That's fine. Oh, look. We're going to be going to the other direction, so you can... Oh, <laughs> on the whole trip. Okay, see it while the cars are moving. And other than that, sit back and relax. Right. No, no, no. See, they have a lot here they even have some buses and stuff now that's decommissioned and not being used there's a lot of stuff we're gonna go over here and check out another barn uh, way up here so that's where we're headed next so this is the, the second barn here and you can see this place is pretty big it's cars all the way down and then there's another row over there that goes all the way back so, yeah Pretty, pretty darn neat. And definitely gotta come check this out if you're in the area. Of course, because of the virus, you can't go in these cars right now. You do get the ride, um, but you can see all these have signs on them at the moment that they're... Well, that one doesn't say it. That, says, that one says fragile, be careful. But a lot of them are saying this here. 
um, collects this, this clothes for today. And, and this is because of the virus. They can't get in here and clean all these. But this one here is really cool. It's got a spiral staircase because it's a, it's a big double decker. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. This will be a, bit, a little bit better shot here, but I can lean in. There it is. Isn't that cool? And you got this staircase here that normally and maybe when you come and visit you can go in here oh yeah oh yeah it is very narrow it's not even that's probably barely four feet across right here and it widens out Oh, here's a local car. This is an old orchard car here. That's pretty neat. It's an open, open air car. Definitely pretty darn cool. Oh yeah, Bedford Saco Railway Company. And again, come during better times, you can actually get on these, sit down, and really check them out. Like I was saying earlier, they got a pretty, pretty good display of transit buses as well you can check out. Okay, now there's uh, rules here as well. So when you come, make sure you're not uh, doing any drinking and partying because we do have a Metropolitan Police bus here. And this particular one is the Alcohol Enforcement Unit. So behave yourself when you're checking out the museum. Like yeah, so we're wrapping it up here now. We didn't show you everything, so if you get up in this area, make sure you swing up here to the Seashore Trolling Museum. That is pretty neat. We're even in the main exhibit now, I'm in the main building. Uh, but yeah, we'll wrap up here in just a second. All right, so as I said, we were just wrapping it up here, and uh, yeah, we had a good time. We spent we spent a couple hours here. Uh, there is more to see, and if you uh, purchase a membership um, ticket, which is good for the year, then there's more areas that you can check out as well. And we might do that next year, but uh, and it's not that expensive, like 35 bucks a person or something like that, 60 bucks for a family for an annual membership. But um, what did we pay to get in here for just regular one day? It was 24. It was like, yeah, so 12 bucks to get in just for one day for an adult. So not too bad. Now that may change when you come and when you see this video, but as of fall of 2020, that's what it was. So hopefully you like this little video, something a little bit different. Life is a wild ride. I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, we're talking about going to get an ice cream. So yeah, thanks for swinging by. Hope you enjoyed a visit to the Trolley Museum. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.